Hello, Torek here, and welcome to my Minion Showcase. Today I'll be introducing the Windup Magus Sisters. This minion was added to the game in patch 6.0. The Magus Sisters are the first set of gods we hear about when we get to Thavnir, and the first set of primals we encounter in Endwalker. It was neat to watch them come to life. To obtain this minion, you need to run the level 81 dungeon, the Tower of Zot. There's a chance for it to appear in the treasure chest that appears after defeating the last boss. The tooltip reads, Summon your wind-up Magus sister's minion. Essentially, three minions for one, so it represents great value. The Magus sisters are revered deities in Thavnir, and their images are popularly peddled in Razahan as talismans. Able to move freely and perform impressive acrobatics, this set of the three divinities counts among the more premium offerings. Here's what it looks like. It's a pretty detailed replica of the three sisters. We have the youngest, Minerva, being held in the air by the middle sister, Sanderva, who is then sitting on the older sister, Sinderva's back. The outfits they have on are identical to how we see them in the dungeon. And here's the special action. They all jump down and then very acrobatic-like stack back up. I especially like the flip the youngest one does to jump back on. And here's how it moves. It's amazing how they don't fall like that. Game physics for the win. And here is how it runs after you. Lord of Verminion info. It is a poppet type. HP is 530. Attack 20. Defense 40. Speed 2 stars. Auto attack, multi-target, cost is 15, no strengths, special action is called delta attack, grants 10 action points to all allies within range who do not have similar actions. It costs 20 points and the type is enhancement. If you've played other Final Fantasy games, you might remember these sisters from Final Fantasy IV. They are a boss in Final Fantasy IV at the top of the Tower of Zot, just like here in Final Fantasy XIV. I wasn't aware of that before going through Endwalker, but it's neat how they gave us a throwback to Final Fantasy IV that way. Overall, it's a very cute minion. The addition of this one in the first dungeon was very fitting, especially seeing as we climbed the tower and had to defeat them. I kind of wish this one wasn't tradable, because I like the idea you have to go through the dungeon and get the story to get it. What do you think of this minion? Please leave a comment. If you liked this video, please toss it a like and subscribe for more Final Fantasy XIV news, housing, and minion content. Thanks for watching, till next time.